don't throw out your old extension cords. This here is a 75 foot extension cord that I found in the garbage because the ground wire got sliced by something. I'll show you how to fix it. All the tools and all the supplies you need are in the description, but let me show you. First things first, I'm gonna peel back the insulation. Uh, make sure it's unplugged, obviously. Um, but this wire is already damaged, so what I'll do is I'll use a knife and I'll just try to open up the insulation, but I'll cut towards that wire. So in case I do damage any wire that's underneath, it'll only be the one that's already damaged that's getting repaired anyway. You do need to give it quite a bit of space here, so don't be shy. And this wire is just the ground wire, so it's not super important. Uh, I mean, it is important, but um, it's not the end of the world if it's uh, if the insulation is peeled on that. But I mean, same principle if um, you know if the live or neutral wire is damaged. Next, what you want to do is you want to strip back a little bit of the insulation. And so I have some wire strippers here, uh, 14 gauge, pop it in there. There we go, I'm gonna twist the wires together just so that they're neat and tidy. Same thing on the other side. And now you want to head down to Amazon or eBay and get some of these. These are um, they are crimp on butt splices, but you want the ones with the milky color because they have a glue inside. Uh, next, you want a crimper. You can use something simple like this. If you see here, it says this is for the insulated, so it needs to have like this kind of semicircle type hole. Or in this case, I'm going to use ratcheting crimpers. Same thing. See, it has that semicircle. So I'm just going to put this in here. Crimp it down tight. And then pop the wire onto the other side. Sometimes it's easier to feed both sides of the wire in first. Depends really how much is missing. There we go, that's crimped really tight. Next, all you do is use a lighter or a hot air gun to heat this up. I'm gonna use a hot air gun simply because I've got it, but uh, lighter works just as well. Just be careful not to overheat it and scorch it. These crimps have an adhesive inside, so not only is this uh, properly crimped together, but now it is also waterproof. Just need to inspect the other wires for damage. Which there is none. And then all you need to do is wrap this up with black electrical tape just so it doesn't snag on anything. And so there it is. Uh, yeah, it does look a little bit uglier, but it saves you from buying a brand new extension cord. And the insulation and the waterproofing is provided by these uh, butt connectors. And the tape is really only there to prevent the loose ends from snagging. If you wanted to go a little bit extra cautious, you could have flowed a little bit of hot glue or silicone in here and then wrapped it. And if you have more than one of the conductors damaged, all you have to do is strip back more of this jacket and sort of um, stagger them. So put one here, one here, and one here, and it keeps it thin all the way around. Thanks for watching.